we're going to tell you the 20 men who have been selected by parliament to um, look at the, the parliamentary situation. The parliamentary situation is that the minority is not talking to the majority. They're not talking to each other. So there are 20 men who have been put together to deal with it. Later after this, we will walk you through what happened um, walk you through what happened in Parliament this week so that you can understand the position of both parties, the NDC and the MPP, and then you can uh, actually make your own decision. Okay, so here's Alexander Afenio Makin. Good luck to all 20 of them as they, they, they uh, sort of go through the process. Alexander Afenio Makin is the Deputy Majority Leader. Alexander Afenio Makin has a connection with the story. What's the connection with the story? His connection with the story is that it, it, he it was who, when the Speaker called for a voice vote to uh, assess the Kenofuata motion, Ken of Fuerta had brought the motion to Parliament on Friday that he needed more consultation with the majority and minority leadership, so he didn't want the debate to complete on Friday. Uh, the Speaker uh, asked for the eyes, and his Speaker felt that the nose to the motion had it and not the eyes. Alexander Afenio Markin called for a division, that means for a vote. And it was in this process that the Speaker asked Ken of Fuerta to leave, unfortunately, and then they, all the rank all started. So Alexander Afenio Markin's um, uh, suggestion to the speaker, calling for a division for that vote is what triggered everything that has happened till now. So it's very important that the very erudite uh, member of parliament from Winneba, uh, the great Aguila, Alexander Fedjomarkin, is part of this process. So there he is. Uh, Sam Nate George has been quiet about um, some of these other matters because he's been brutally focused on the um, LGBT issues. But yes, he's a member of the committee, and rightly so. He's one of the outspoken uh, members on their side of the NDC. And uh, so he's, he's, he's one of the uh, John Mahama uh, people in the parliament. And so he's going to be, oh, sorry about that. So, so Sam George is going to be part of uh, the process. Okay. Uh, Patrick Yabuama is the uh, member of parliament for Kankwe Central. Uh, handsome Patrick Yabuama is also part of the process. He is a, a diplomat because he studied international relations. So diplomacy will be useful in this process. Okay. Uh, Lady Asrem Al Hassan, of course, mother, uh, mother of five, West Ayawaso West Wogan constituency, and uh, we all know Ma Lydia, they call her. She's a very motherly figure, and so her presence in the committee will be useful to bring Parliament to a nice conclusion. Kabna uh, Minta Akando is from Jabiso. He is a member of Parliament, and uh, he's one of the strong MPP guys in there. Uh, so you need also some of them, those who are going to hold very strong views. I'm guessing he'll be one of those holding very very strong views. Okay, uh, James Agalga uh, is a former Minister for Interior. So he's dealt with the police, he's dealt with immigration, he understands negotiations, he understands how to bring people together, but he also understands the authority of state. And uh, he also understands the usefulness of the minority. So James Agalga is going to be very, very useful uh, to the committee. The Honorable Dogate is going to be particularly important to the committee. He's a former Attorney General, former Minister of, uh, of uh, uh, Railways, uh, former Deputy Speaker of Parliament, a seasoned member of Parliament since 2004. He's represented the Sikado Keten constituency. So the Honorable Jogate is going to be very, very important. Of course, Jogate has announced his presidential ambitions, uh, so that's going to be at the back of his mind as he joins these negotiations. So the tw team of 20 come out successfully. It will mean that Jogate has demonstrated that he's a good negotiator going into the MPP primaries that he's been working on for months now. Perhaps it will help him. Good luck to all of them, but Jogate is certainly very, very important to the committee. Kobna Tahiru Hammond. Uh, what would you say about Katie Hammond? Katie Hammond is a very forthright, straightforward talker, yeah? That means uh, he's, go he he's not going to suffer uh, some people gladly. Uh, and so he's going to make his mind. He's going to be very piercing. So it, it is because of people like Katie Hammond that you need Ma Lydia in there, isn't it? Because Katie Hammond is going to, is his brush, is going to say it as it is, it's going to be brutal, and he's going to come at the NDC, he's going to cut their throat inside this committee. So it's good Katie Hammond is there. He'll find his match on the other side. Then the, uh, the middle level diplomats, Ma Lydia, Patrick Yabuama, and Dugate and others will sort of bring it together nicely. So I think that they have represented the members of 20 in terms of the different disposition of human beings that will be in any parliament. And I'm, I'm beginning to think that's what they've done. If that's what they've done, that's very, very clever, isn't it? Okay. Uh, Dan Botry is, uh, is a thorough MPP man, former general secretary of the party, former minister of information. Uh, now he's been... Dan Botry has had a lot of experience working with the minority. Because you will see that in the first term of the president, 
It was about the bills that concerned Dambochi that went through without any conversation, so the, any, any rancor. Uh, so it will indicate that he has a very good relationship with the minority members of the floor. When he was doing the original uh, division and all of that, everything passed very, very, very smoothly. You know? So, so Dambochi would be useful to the committee, and we'll see how it goes. And, uh, and, and he's worked with all the members of parliament because he did the original creation. Uh, and so he's useful to the committee. Okay. Uh, Frank cannot Dempere is the chief whip on the MPP side, so it's useful that he's, inside, he's in there uh, somewhere. And uh, he's also a new, a young member of parliament, so uh, the youngish versus the oldish, I think that works. Uh, Patricia Apieje is also the mother figure, seasoned member of parliament from Ashanti region. She also has that mother figure, and uh, she's going to try and help calm tempers down, and, and let's rise be right, and uh, let's move together as a parliament. That's the kind of uh, narrative that you will expect from her. Okay. Uh, Habib Idrisu is uh, a new member of parliament uh, from the northern region, and I'm sure that he's also going to be uh, very useful to the committee. Roxen Nelson Dafia Makpo. He's a litigant. He's a litigant. And I like that he's part of the committee. So he's going to litigate the NDC issues. He's going to litigate the issue of is the deputy speaker and speaker. Is it the same thing? 138, 137, 275, 274. Who was in the house? When does the counting start? What is the difference between the quorum for voting and the quorum for conducting business? The Daphne Macbo is going to litigate all those issues. So that's very important. It's very important for the committee to come out having heard all the sides of the story. So he and Katie Hammond must sit very far from each other. Because if they sit close to each other, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, Ernest Henry Nogwe is a new member of parliament, and I'm sure that he will be helping the committee to come to the conclusion. Richard Achampong is also a member of parliament who will also be helping the committee to come uh, to the conclusion. Ahmed Ibrahim, uh, quite a long list and a good list as well. Uh, mixing the old, the new, and all of that, uh, they will also, uh, he's the last one, and they will be helping uh, the parliament. We deliberately didn't say uh, 20 NDC, 20 MPP because we don't want the narrative to be about that as far as, as much as we can influence your mind and your thinking. We don't want the narrative to be about that. Let the committee, it's a committee of parliament. Let the committee finish its work, report to leadership. Let the committee finish its work, report to leadership, and then we will be able to take it from there. Okay. So that's it about parliament committee. Uh, <laughs>